not going to lay down. This is disabled Army veteran Mike Elliott struggling to move from his wheelchair to his bed. All the wires are going to fall. So imagine how difficult it was for him to crawl for his life while escaping this incredible house fire. The fire was growing, like, so fast. It was scary. I've never, you know, ever been that scared in my life. The house belonged to his girlfriend, Janice Schweitzer. They were awakened by smoke and chased by flames. Elliot had to rip off his oxygen and leave it behind. Got up, started walking, and then I fell down. And from there, all I could hear is, Mike, get out, get out, Mike. He just collapsed outside, outside the door. I can't go any further. I know I wasn't crawling fast enough, but I, all I thought about was getting out of the house. That's it. Elliot was on his knees in the street, wearing only boxer shorts and a T-shirt in freezing temperatures. Thank God for whoever it was. Two people grabbed me and dragged me across the road. The VA gave Elliot a new wheelchair and refilled his prescriptions. Others have given donations, but the couple is still homeless, uncertain what will be covered by insurance. Thank everybody that is out there and their hearts are big and pure and good. I look at my family and her family and then all our friends, people we don't even know. It's very overwhelming. Thank you. I can't do it anymore. And tonight, fire investigators still have not determined the cause of the fire. Reporting live from Springdale, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.